Hey guys, it's Iman and Christina from, from Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. Welcome back to our stock portfolio update. It is the end of August 2021 and so we are taking you into our investment portfolio to show you how to invest for financial independence and retiring early. But this particular video is very special because we are going to show you how this portfolio is generating over $500 a month in income. And this is so important for anyone that is pursuing financial independence with the goal of retiring early by living off of your portfolios. This is so powerful. And the main reason why we started this investment series so that you could understand how it really works when you achieve financial independence. So if you're new to this series, in March of 2020, we invested $5,000 into this portfolio. And every single month after that, we invested an additional $1,200. Now we have three different investments in this portfolio and every single month we open up our portfolio and share our investments and how they've been doing. But in addition to that, we also address an investing question. So in this video, what we wanna address is a question related to passive income. How do you develop develop a passive income portfolio, why is passive income important, and we want to talk to you about the passive income that we've been generating on this portfolio because like Amon said, since we began investing in March of 2020, we've been able to generate more than $500 every single month of passive income from this portfolio. But before we go any further, if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe right now. In fact, hit that like button and the notification button so that you can be the first one to get these videos. And if you are new to our journey, Christina and I achieved financial independence and retired early here to beautiful Portugal after pursuing financial independence for eight years. And we were able to do that by investing in real estate and in the stock market. So if you are interested in learning about ways to make, save, and invest money for FIRE and about learning about our lives in Portugal, make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. So now let's begin by talking about the purpose of generating passive income. So like Amon said, we invested in real estate and we invested in the stock market on our FIRE journey. And there are pros and cons to investing in both of them. But one of the big pros to investing in the stock market is the fact that it can generate very passive income. If you're investing in real estate, you have to put a lot of work into that as opposed to investing in the stock market. And by generating passive income, this is very important because once you reach financial independence and you retire early, you have to do very little to no work in order to generate income in a stock portfolio. Now, because this video is about our stock portfolio and our update on the performance of our portfolio, we're going to be focusing on how to generate passive income with investing in stocks. So let's talk about how you develop a passive income stock portfolio. The first thing you want to do is identify how much income that you want your portfolio to generate. So you actually may have several different portfolios. Maybe you have a bunch of different 401ks, an HSA, some IRAs. Ideally, what you want to focus on is your withdrawal from those portfolios once you reach early retirement and beyond. So this is known as the 4% withdrawal rate. We've actually talked about it, but the target goal for someone pursuing FIRE is being able to withdraw 4% adjusted for inflation from each of their portfolios. So that means if you have several different portfolios, you want to be able to withdraw an average of 4% from each portfolio. So this is something that actually confuses people when they are pursuing FIRE and calculating their FIRE number. So when we say 4%, you are taking 4% from the total of all of your portfolios. Now we did a video that goes into a great amount of detail on the 4% rule, and we'll leave a link to that video in the description below. So let's give some specific numbers to give you an idea of what we mean. So let's say you have a 401k, and in that 401k you have $500,000 invested. So if that's the case, you should aim at generating an income of at least $23,500 annually adjusted for inflation. And let's say you also have another portfolio worth $450,000. Then you want your dividends and your capital appreciation from that portfolio to be at least $18,000 annually. And let's say you have one other portfolio that's worth $400,000. The income that you generate from that portfolio should be at least $16,000 annually. 
So again, that's 4% from each portfolio. But how do you generate that money? How do you really take out that 4%? Well, we're gonna talk about the different ways that your portfolio generates income. Okay, so let's start off with the three most common ways to generate income from your portfolio. And the first way is through interest. And typically this can be through a bond fund, for example. Now we don't invest in bonds, but there are two other common ways to generate income from your portfolio. And that's through the growth of your portfolio or capital gains. And then there's also dividends. Now capital gains and dividends, that's how we generate our income from our portfolios. And actually this specific portfolio that we're gonna open up to you very shortly. We get dividends from this portfolio and we also have a lot of capital gains from this portfolio as well. So interest, dividend, and capital gains. That is how you generate income from your portfolio to live off of it in financial independence. So what is so important are the investments that you have in that portfolio. Now, Christina and I break down all of the investments that we have in all of our portfolios in our investment course. So if you have questions about what we're investing in and you wanna learn more about how to develop a portfolio for financial independence, check out that course. We will leave a link in the description below. But what we really wanna talk about is this specific portfolio, because like I said, we're getting dividends and capital gains. Now dividends we are generating from this portfolio, but the majority of the income that we're generating from this portfolio is actually through capital appreciation or growth. So let's talk about investing for growth and investing for dividends. Now we like to do a combination of the two, and the best way for us to do that is to invest in ETFs and in index funds. In fact, the majority of our investments are in ETFs and index funds. Now, if you don't know the difference between ETFs and index funds, we actually have a video that breaks down the difference between the two, and we will leave a link in the description for that video as well. But something that you will find as you dig deeper into the realm of index funds and ETFs is that there are so many different types of ETFs and index funds to invest in. So depending on your ultimate goal, on your income goals in financial independence, you can arrange your portfolio to suit your ultimate goal. So one thing we do want to touch upon is a specific ETF and index fund that has worked for us, and that is by investing in the total stock market, a total stock market ETF and a total stock market index fund. And the reason why we love this so much is that because you're investing in the total stock market, you own these large cap companies that pay dividends. So you get to collect dividends off of these funds. But at the same time, you also get to collect growth from your portfolio that keeps pace with the total stock market. Now, historically, over the past 100 years, the stock market has returned an average of 10% annually. So you're collecting annual growth on your portfolio and dividends at the same time. So this is the power of investing for financial independence. We talked about the 4% rule. And if you are only withdrawing 4% from your portfolio, but your portfolio is gaining more than 10% each year, you can see the buffer that is built in when you are living off of your portfolio. In fact, over these past 10 years that we have been pursuing financial independence and have been in retirement, the stock market has returned well over 10%. And you are going to see the returns that we've had in this portfolio and we are out of this world over 10%. And so this is why I get so excited when I talk about the power of investing for financial independence. It is so important that you guys understand these concepts and how they all tie in to living off of your portfolio. So the huge returns generated from the market are really related to capital gains, but like we said, there's also opportunities to collect dividends when you're investing in something like a total stock market index fund or ETF. And if you situate your investment right, you can actually generate dividend income every single month. Now, if you look at dividends, they're typically paid quarterly. But like I said, you can situate your investments so that you're collecting them every single month. And this is how you do it. So what you can do is you can select an investment that pays out quarterly dividends. And let's say it pays out in January, April, July, and October. Then you can also invest in another fund that pays dividends in February, May, August, and November, and another fund that pays dividends in March, June, September, and December. 
So under this scenario, you would be collecting quarterly dividends, but you situated your portfolio so that you're collecting those quarterly dividends every single month. So if you want more details on this, look at the brokerage company that you invest in and look at the list of their dividend payouts and they'll tell you when those payouts are. For example, Vanguard has a whole sheet of all of its different payouts with its different funds and it will tell you if it pays out quarterly, monthly, or whenever that dividend payout occurs. And you can arrange your portfolio in a specific way so that you are collecting dividends every single month. But we will warn you, if you wanna arrange your portfolio in this fashion so that you are getting dividends every single month, it can get complicated. You may end up having too many investments that you can't keep track of. What we suggest is keeping a minimal amount of investments that you can track, and if those investments happen to pay you dividends every three months, then what you do is you spread those payments out between the months and you live off of the money like that. But what we wanna emphasize is that when you are investing for financial independence, it is so important that you keep this ultimate goal in mind, how you are going to live off of your portfolio. What will be your withdrawal strategy? So will you be living off of dividends? And then what type of investments will you need to focus on if your focus is on dividends? Or will you be living off of capital gains. And so you wanna arrange your investments in equities that will provide growth every single year to support you in FIRE. The choice is completely up to you and you can make your arrangement in so many different ways. But again, keep the ultimate goal in mind. How will you live off of your investments? But with that being said, let's dive into this portfolio and show you how we are generating over $500 a month in income. Let's start with the first investment, which is the Fidelity Zero Total Market Index Fund, FZROX. On August 16th, we invested $720 and bought 44.8004 shares at $16.07 each. We now own a total of 1,312.508 shares at an average price of $11.73 per share. Our total amount invested is $15,397.32. The current value as of August 28th is $21,315.12, making this a total gain of $5,917.80 or 38.43%. Our next investment is the Fidelity Zero International Index Fund, FZILX. On August 16th, we invested $240 and bought 19.355 shares at $12.40 each. We now own a total of 515.135 shares at an average price of $9.98 per share. Our total amount invested is $5,141.82. The current value as of August 28th is $6,397.97, making this a total gain of $1,256.15, or 24.43%. And finally, we have the Fidelity Real Estate Index Fund, FSRNX. On August 16th, we invested $240 and bought 12.987 shares at $18.48 each. We now own a total of 371.875 shares at an average price of $13.93 per share. Our total amount invested is $5,178.42. The current value as of August 28th is $6,898.28, making this a total gain of $1,719.86, or 33.21%. Overall, our portfolio as of August 28th, which is 17 months since we began this portfolio, is valued at $34,611.37. That's up $8,893.81 or 34.58%. So these are amazing returns and we could not be happier with this portfolio. But if you break down those returns over the past 17 months that we have been investing in this portfolio, those returns equate to more than $500 a month that this portfolio has been generating for us. 
But what we have been doing, we haven't been taking the money from this portfolio. <laughs> we have been reinvesting it and letting the compound take hold. If you recall, we started with just $5,000. I mean, that is a lot of money, but it was the seed that is gonna grow this tree into something astronomical. I'm sure at some point we'll be sitting here talking about a $100,000 portfolio that we started with $5,000 or a $1 million portfolio that we started with $5,000. The point is that once we started investing, we continue to invest consistently in this portfolio. And even though we're generating income from it, we have decided to reinvest that income so that the money compounds upon each other. And this is powerful because at some point, you can start to live off of that portfolio in fire and instead of reinvesting that money, withdraw that money to support your living expenses. So that is our portfolio update for the month of August in 2021. If you have questions about our portfolio or if you have questions about developing your own passive income portfolio by investing in the stock market, make sure you leave a comment below. But of course, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and join, join the, the journey. journey.